but this, this is Chuck. Chuck's off doing work. The uh, thing I'm doing today is I'm heading toward, Air well, I'm actually in Arizona now. I'm heading toward a place that sells solar panels, uh, used solar panels called Sun Santan Solar. I want to buy about eight solar panels. Um, they're used. They've been, I believe they've been used off a, a solar array. And after about 10 years, what they do is they replace them with new ones. Because they lose some of their efficiency. But uh, they're cheap. <laughs> so I'm going to go pick some up. Come along, uh, there's GPS showing where we're at. And, uh, we're not quite there yet. We're probably another 150 miles from the location. And, uh, we're having fun. The weather has been raining all day, all night. I don't know, it's about 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock. And now it's starting to clear off a little bit as I'm getting into Arizona. But uh, it's the first time in an hour that I haven't been able, hadn't had to use my wiper blades. So, get back with you when we get to Suntan. Thank you. Okay, brothers and sisters, we got him. Hide down here, We're ready to hit the road. Let's see what our next adventure might be. Hopefully, it'll work. Morning, brothers and sisters. It's the next day. I'm back here at the lake, Elson Butte. Look how cool it is. This place must really get busy in the summertime. Look at that. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven dumpsters over there. <laughs> and it's just one little area here. We moved our camper, our RV, up to this site right here, which has got water and it's got a little pavilion. Pavilion, and it costs ten dollars a night. So it's the other place was eight dollars a night. Anyway, I'm come back from San Solar and I got. A, Back to my pickup truck. I got a couple of them, a couple, three of them out. And I just want to show them to you. They're, uh, they're this one here is, uh, is a 280 watt. Uh, other than having some burn poop on them and a little minor scratch right there. And if you can see that or not, uh, right there, it's just surface scratch. Uh, they, appear to be in pretty good condition uh i'm pleased with them i haven't tested them yet but uh so far i'm happy uh just by looking at them visual and this one here uh, i don't think it's got any you know there's a little something right there i'm not sure what there's a little surface scratch other than that this one's in really good shape this one here has got a little surface scratch right there. I don't think it'll affect it any, or very little. This one here, I don't think it's got any imperfections in it at all, other than all the bird poop I cleaned off of it. But uh, this is a pretty nice, back to the campsite, there's the boat dock down there. Uh, this is a pretty nice campsite. Uh, we was down, down the beach down there you can't really see it's over that hill and it was eight dollars a night come up here because we had to go to the dump station there's a dump station not too far from here and so we decided to come to this one because of this reason right here other than picnic table have this is a bigger deal for me than anything else and that's this little guy right here <laughs> That's this guy. This is the biggest deal right here, the water. Otherwise, we'd have to go someplace else to get the water. But, uh, yeah, it's 
there's that's another site over there but uh this is pretty nice it's big enough uh we get very good tv reception at this site we get uh good solar uh because of uh the way the sun comes up from this side over here it kind of goes like that doesn't really cross the sky but uh and we're starting to hurt on on energy here especially after being in the rain for a couple days it's supposed to clear off a little bit this afternoon you can see up there in the sky starting to clear off a little bit and maybe i can test a couple of these solar panels to see what kind of how much performance they have uh, they they are used uh, the 280 watt ones I paid $50 each for them. I got six of them. The $260 ones, um, you can't tell the difference by looking at them, but uh, they cost me $81 a piece. Um, I couldn't get, they ran out of the 280 watt ones, so I, I had to pay a little more for the 260s. Why they were more, I don't know, other than they, they get a whole bunch of them and they mark them down, and they were still marked down, but they weren't marked down as much. But uh, we'll see how they work out. Plan on putting them probably in my garage at home. I don't think I want to put any more on solar on the roof of the RV. I have 500 watts up on 600 watts on the roof of the RV, which is borderline. Uh, I've got lead acid batteries. I don't have any lithium batteries yet. Uh, I'm not really sold on them at this point. Uh, for one, they got they were too expensive at first. Now they come down a lot. You can buy a lithium ion battery, 100 amp hours for just about $200. Sometimes even less than that. Now they're not battle borns. Battle borns are still up there about 950 a piece, which is nuts. But uh, we'll see how this works out. Okay, thank you. brothers this is chuck chuck's off the grid world um down here at uh elfin butte beautiful day sun finally came out we've got some solar panels here trying to charge some batteries up um, talk about the wind damage to my rv again uh you know some people have said that i was crazy to get rid of, of the awning but uh there's some advantages of getting rid of the awning. One advantage is it's lighter in weight. Lost about probably 150, 200 pounds in that awning. Uh, less wind re resistance. So I'm gonna get probably a, a whopping, well, I've I'm, I'm been getting seven miles a gallon, so I'll probably get eight and a half mile a gallon with that awning off there. No, I'm just kidding on that one. <laughs> it won't make that much difference, but it's still an advantage. But I wanna show you something that I just noticed the other day, okay? I forgot to mention it. This, this was the damage and how violent the wind was. This is the mount up here on the top. And that mount is actually tore in to fiberglass. There's a hole there. I'm gonna have to fill it in with putty or something. It just, it knocked it in place. I mean, look at that. That's how much violent how the wind was and how it was, it was uh, destroying things. The problem was, all the pieces in, that were bent or broken, it would cost more to replace the whole thing. So that's why I decided to recycle it, just get rid of the whole thing. But uh, I doubt that I'll ever buy another one. I mean, buy another one if it's on already on the vehicle. 
but uh, I'm not gonna go turn out buy one okay uh, with that little note uh, um, I'll end it here well, thank you for watching Oh, brothers, this is Chuck again. Chuck's off the grid world. I'm in uh, Elfin Butte. I've got two solar panels here. Um, and I want to show you a magical way to get rid of two $50 bills. Check them out. Two $50 bills. All you got to do is go down to a, a place that sells used solar panels and you can buy two 280 watt solar panels for fifty dollars a piece, so I got two of them. So watch this: just you just rub them together, and magically, click, they disappear.